Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Greg, and Bricktech is the channel where I share my LEGO collecting journey every day. You can already tell something's a little different here. I'll give you a second to figure out what that is. Clarkman is not in this video because it's not one of our traditional LEGO collecting videos. This is actually a video that's related more to the channel than anything else, but it is definitely a part of my journey. Specifically, my Brickitect merch journey, which I've been trying to work on for a very long time. If you're completely new to the channel or if you don't know what I'm talking about, a while back I went through a place called Redbubble to create my very own Brickitect shirt. So that is what I did, and based on a lot of good reviews, I was expecting really good quality, and that isn't really what I got. I got this really crappy shirt, and what I decided to do was ask them for my money back, which I did, and then they replied saying, we'll just send you another shirt, which they did. And the second shirt that I got was just as bad, if not worse, than the first one. After that debacle, I was trying to find a place where I could actually do some Brickitect shirts, and I found Teespring, and I actually had a really good experience through them. But the big thing is, how is the quality of the shirt? And that's what we're going to find out right now. I want to say that my hopes are high, but my hopes were high with Redbubble too, and I got let down, so I don't want to get too excited about this. Before I do the reveal here, I'll give you a little more information on Teespring. They actually give you an option as a creator to go on there and create a storefront. And you have the choice between all kinds of different products from t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, you can do sweatshirts, mugs. I think you can pretty much do every product that you can think of that you want to put a logo on or your design on. And I just wanted to do a simple t-shirt. The options for the t-shirts for me at least were Hanes, which is like a basic t-shirt. And then the other shirt, which is the one that I got, is a next level t-shirt, which is like their premium quality. It's a little bit nicer. And I think for the next level ones, they recommend that you sell them at $23. I actually priced mine a little bit lower than that, but we'll talk about that here in a second once we take a look at this here. And... Okay. All right, we're in business, guys. This, I can already tell, is a lot better. Look at the black on there. The black actually came through properly. You don't see a lot of red sticking through that. I don't really see any other issues. The red on this looks good. In fact, I think what I'm going to do to show this to you the best way possible is I'm going to compare the two shirts together. So here's Redbubble. Take notice to all of the bleeding that's going through in the colors. And then here is Teespring. What a difference. Now let's one up that. I brought in my first Redbubble shirt, which both of these were designed exactly the same way. This one has a much larger graphic than this one does. With those bleeding colors and the difference in the sizes, this is just terrible to me. Since there's no pieces to drop in this video, I'm just gonna drop these red bubble shirts on the floor. So now that you guys got a good look at the quality of this, why don't I try it on and model it for you just so you can see how it looks on a person. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to do this. Here's how it looks, I guess, you know, actually wearing it. I'm gonna put this back on my tripod. I think it'll give you a better idea of what it looks like. Take these trashy red bubble shirts out of the way, but here is a look at my Teespring shirt. This is a size large. I would probably wear like between a medium and large. This shirt is 100% cotton. And so I recommend getting a size a little bit bigger than what you think you're going to wear because it'll shrink up a little bit when you wash it. I'll try to stand back as far as I can to so see you can see what it looks like. I think it actually fits me pretty well. One thing I was a little nervous about when I was designing this was the actual placement of the logo. When you're doing the design on the computer, it's really easy to do a centered piece because they actually have lines on the shirt that you're designing on so you can set it perfectly. But with doing a chest piece like this where it's on the side, it's really difficult to actually position it properly. And I think I got it pretty much right where I want to get it. I was a little too concerned about it being too close under here, but I think it looks pretty good. You guys will have to let me know what you think, but I am pretty happy with it. The shirt is actually a really nice material. I'm glad I upgraded to the next level one versus the Hanes. You'd have the best quality shirt that you can have. And if that means taking a little bit less profit on it, I'd much rather do that than give you a crappy t-shirt with a higher profit margin. Base price to me is $14. So if I order one of these shirts with zero profit, it'd be $14 for this shirt. I'm going to sell these shirts for $19. Here's a look at the shirt. I just called it a Brick Tech logo. Of course, you can get it in red. You can get it in white. You can get it in royal blue. You can get it in dark blue, which I really like. You can do green. And that's it. They only allow you to do five colors. So those are the five that I chose. My personal preference is probably either the dark blue or the red. I like both of those a lot. Again, it's $19 for it. And the way Teespring works is they print the shirts every three days. So right now there's nine hours and 36 minutes left until they do the next printing. So if you get into that particular printing, it'll print then. But if you decide to wait like a day or two, it's gonna be another three days until they print it out. You guys know me, I like to be completely honest and transparent when it comes to anything that involves your money. And in this situation, Teespring recommends that you sell the shirts for, I think it was $22.95. And if you sold them at that, it would give you a profit of just over $9 per shirt sold. So if you were to go and buy a shirt, if I sold it for that price, that's how much money I would make. The thing is, I just felt like that was a little expensive to buy a shirt with a Brickitech logo on it. So that's why I priced it at $19. I think $19 is very fair and that's actually some feedback that I got from other people when I was discussing pricing before. They were saying $19 to $20 is what they would sell it for. So if you were to buy one of my shirts, and I'll show it to you right now because I have one in my cart so you can 
see. It would cost you $22.99 and that's with shipping. And if you do buy a shirt at $19, it gives me a profit of $5.02. I know that because I bought one myself. I'm just going to wrap the video up on this, and this is kind of my justification for doing this. If you guys ever wanted to donate to the channel monetarily or, you know, do the super chat or whatever, I'd recommend doing this instead, because in this case, you might be spending $23, but you're getting a t-shirt out of it. You're not just giving the money away, but it does help because that is, again, $5.02 that I can put back into the channel, and that is what I intend to do with this. But for me, even if no one ever buys a shirt from me, I'm still going to keep this channel going. I'm still going to buy Lego sets because it's what I love to do and I love making videos and I'm always going to be sharing those with you. So I thank you guys for watching this video. I know it felt like a big commercial and I don't feel great about that. But again, this is something that I've been working towards for a very long time. Doing the Brick Tech merchandise was one of my goals for 2018 and I'm so happy that I feel like I'm sort of getting there. I like the way this shirt looks. I'm probably going to order more colors of it and I have other shirt designs that I'm going to be doing here in the future as well. I have like four other shirts that I want to do and I'll kind of announce those as we do them. And one last thing before I let you guys go. I I actually want to give one of these shirts away, but I want to do it as a contest. So if you have any ideas for what I could do for a contest, I'd like to do some type of video related thing. I think that would be really cool to give somebody an awesome shirt and maybe expose your channel in the process. I'm going to be streaming tonight if you're watching this the day that comes out. I don't know if Clark Man's going to be streaming with me or not. It depends on how he's feeling, but we're going to be doing a little bit of streaming tonight if you want to join in with us. So thank you for watching this video. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.